Hi, uh, today I will be opening my Dragon Tooth Ocarina. I just bought it, it came in the mail. Uh, here's the box. So if I open it, and my camera just fell. Guess I gotta be a little steady than that. So, um, Songbird Ocarina. One Dragon Tooth. I got the extra quiet version. Um, I guess this is the songbook. And some sort of storybook. So, let's see. It doesn't look too complicated. These songs are relatively, well, these are relatively easy tabs. Um, similar to what I'm used to. Came with a little chain here. Um, I'm comparing this to this little ocarina here, which I bought off of a friend for five dollars. Um, it's only five holes. I don't really know a lot of songs. I'm pretty limited by the range. I think I did that wrong, but um, that's almost the only song I know. Uh, let me dump out some of these packing peanuts. So the Dragon Tooth, as you may know, is a 12-hole ocarina. Uh, I have this thing. I don't know what it is. I was not expecting it. I guess it's some sort of stand? Yeah, if you look at it, it kind of has the look of a stand to it. You could put something in there. So, here's this fairly nice leather bag. I think everything else in there is just packing peanuts. Um, let me get my knife out of here, too. Nice knife. What you think? So, I'm wrapping the ocarina. It's far more narrow than I would have expected. Nice. Nice colors to it. As you can see, it's pretty long, longer than my hand, uh, but my, it's uh, not as wide as my hand. Um, it is a really nice color, though. Um, I think you can see it in the uh, video, but it has that look, that sort of shimmery rainbow look that oil does sitting on pavement. Um, so I guess I'll hold it something like this. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to the grip a little bit. I was actually expecting a lower range than that, but that's okay. I am going to find a song and I'm going to play it, or attempt to anyway. Actually, let's guess. Let's go through some scales first. Um, make sure all the holes are covered properly. Doesn't seem to be changing at all. Um, only three holes on that side. But there's four here. Okay, I'm confused already. Oh, I guess the pinky just always stays down. Uh, what I'm looking at here is uh, this. And as you can see, like right there, there's only three holes on the top left, is it? Yes. Um, there's only three holes, but Clearly, there's actually four there, um, but this small hole, no, this hole over here is where my pinky went, and I guess it's just not shown, because if you look further down here, then suddenly it shows up, and it's hollow, 
which leads me to think that's when you're supposed to remove your finger. Um, oh yeah, it has some instructions here. Keep your left pinky covering this hole at all time, except for the highest note. It opens last. Skip it on the way up on the scale. Because this hole is usually covered, it is only shown on the tablature when it is open to simplify and avoid clutter. And when you open the right thumb hole, roll your right thumb off, but maintain support with the middle part of your thumb. I thought that would have been common sense. Um, I'm going to try a minor scale here. Starts with three holes open. There's a difference there. My ears aren't very well trained. Uh, oh, I took a finger off the hole. <laughs> this is tricky. Anyway. Uh, know that when you blow, it sounds good. It really helps. Often people around you will like your playing more than you do. The thumb hole should be covered always, except for the highest notes. Keep the left pinky down all the time, except for the highest note. It is important to cover them completely. Um, tells me to articulate and to try to trill. Yeah, I already knew about that. Uh, you can add vibrato. Roll the R's. I've never been very great at that, but, oh well. Um... All right, well, let's look at some of these songs. Hop on the Giva, that's nice. I think what I'm going to do is start with green sleeves, though. Some of these are pretty long. Has random Dresden doll, coin operated boy, I don't know why that's in there. Even has Tetris, sweet. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try green sleeves. Um, one reason I was saying it's tricky earlier, this is just a nice ocarina, I like it. it has a very solid feel to it. Um, but my left hand just isn't very good. It doesn't help that I broke my wrist um, some years back, but some of my tendons are also fused, so I can't bend my fingers right. So, uh, holding down my pinky and lifting up my ring finger, I can't get it any higher than that. I really can't. Uh, I can move my other fingers fine, as opposed to like my right hand where well, I can move my ring finger about that high. But anyway, uh, I'm going to need to practice on this a lot to really be able to get it down. Um, so, here is my attempt at green sleeves, which I think I should know on this. I'm actually going to try that first, um, if I can remember how to do it. Anyway, first attempt at green sleeves on a dragon tooth ocarina from Solid and Weird Ocarinas. I'm reading from the tabs, which I will display briefly right here. It's a decent length song. Let's see how I do. No, I wasn't putting my thumb where it should be. I can hear any difference between those notes. 
I'm totally fucking up the song. Um, <laughs> maybe I should just try to play it through and keep my thoughts to myself. So I'm going to take it from the top. keep forgetting about my left thumb. It's always sitting in the middle of the ocarina, which feels natural to me as opposed to being up there where it should be. This isn't where I expected the song to go, which means I don't know the proper rhythm. Okay. Um. Shit. I need to not do that. Uh. Anyway, I'll just kind of keep playing. Skip the line. Fuck. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself. Uh, I'm going to do something simpler. Like Tetris. How can I go wrong on Tetris? I figure if I can play it on the violin, I can play it on anything. I can play it on the piano super fast. I can play it on a bass and a guitar pretty well. Um, sorry, I forgot about the left thumb hole again. I'll start over. There we go. One of my holes was uncovered. Um, Kind of close, I guess. I also want to try the Imperial Death March. Hopefully that's pretty easy. Actually, I'm going to try the chain. Um, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but as you might be imagining, there is a little hole on here uh, through which you can lace a chain. And, uh, well... I guess it doesn't lace through, that is bad diction, but this chain has a little hook on there. I don't know how well I can show it, but push the little thing and it opens. Uh, so, I can put this 
on there. I don't think it really matters which way it goes on. This chain is actually pretty long. Um, this thing hangs lower than my waist. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to do something that I do not yet know about. Uh, here we go. I'm basically double wrapping it. <laughs> it's a little tight on the neck. Um, let's see. I think I know what I can do though. If I take the chain back off the ocarina and then I'm going to put it through uh, itself. You can kind of see there. It's latched on. And then I'm going to attach it to the ocarina. And then the chain is twice as thick and it hangs at a relatively comfortable height. Far more comfortable than if it's all the way down past my waist anyway. Let's put the chain in my collar. Alright. Cool. Um, so, Imperial Death March. Trying to make sure all my fingers are where they should be. I don't know the rhythm for this song, apparently. I was expecting a da 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 That sort of thing. Instead, I have this, which apparently goes da 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 I don't know what those first ten notes are doing there. <laughs> so I'm just going to start on the second line. I am bad at this. <laughs> but I'm going to put a lot of practice in. Um... I feel like that note should be lower. Well, anyway. <laughs> There's all that. Um, I suppose I can just kind of fiddle around with it and, uh, Try out some of those like vibratos and whatnot. That was a little rough. Um, no, I'm not going to embarrass myself further actually. I will though find the longest song in here and show it to you for kicks. And actually, I do want to try all of the Mountain King. Um, it's going to take a lot of practice for me, though, to get good at switching my finger positions. But it appears that Nirvana, with uh, Come As You Are, has the most notes. See if I can do Hall of the Mountain King.
close. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's a 20 minute video that's good enough to watch somebody just dicking around and being an idiot. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now. See ya. I would also like to note that although I am not very good, um, this Dragon Tooth Ocarina is quite nice. Um, not just the look and the feel and the weight of it, um, but it sounds pretty nice to my ears. Um, for the time being, I'm assuming that the lack of proper note shifting and whatnot isn't that the ocarina lacks good range and sound, but just that I'm doing it wrong, doing it way too slow, probably not covering the holes all the way. Um, but so far, I do enjoy it quite a bit, and uh, I'll be able to say more once I'm better.